Here we go, here we go. I need some Coca-Cola. Oh yeah. Cheers! Well, howdy friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be looking at my 2019 planner. I have already moved into my 2019-2020 planner from Erin Condren. If you wanna know what I am actually using this year, I'll put a link in the card for y'all. But this is what I used for only half the year. I ended up getting a binder this this year now this year like you know like my gestures mean anything <laughs> anyways so when you get a binder you automatically get an 18 month calendar and i'm like oh i really want to move into it so i want to talk a little bit about this planner and why i decided not to keep it um well i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it but not to keep moving forward as you can see it's pretty full um even though i didn't like i kind of was a slacker planner this year. Um, I think the challenge is with the Lux covers is that it gets even bulkier because you can't remove them. So anyway, I never took this out of my home. I'm gonna zoom you guys in just so you can see like the Lux cover. The cover is fine, but the corners um, have seen better days. And this is just, you know, me putting this like in and out of my Rascog cart or whatever. Like I didn't really ever bring it to anything. And then the back of it has a little bit of wear here. And then a whole lot of wear on the bottom. And then some on the top, or, whoops, sorry, some on the top up here. So it's basically like the edges. Anyway, um, I mean, if you're a planner person that that really bothers, whoa, um, then clearly the Lux covers are probably not for you. But anyway, I just wanted to mention that. Yeah, so let's start flipping through it. Um, I did actually put in a cover, which I'm going to now take out because I will use this for other things because this is like literally my favorite pattern that um, Erin Condren has ever released. I just love the woven wonder with the white background. It's like my favorite fave. So anyways, and then we've got the front page which actually Erin Condren uh, signed. And when did I have her sign this? Oh, I had her sign this. She actually came to a event in Minneapolis. It'll be in the planner somewhere. I can't remember where it was, but I brought it to that and then she signed it. So it's probably the only time I ever took it out of my house. Um, I'm gonna take this out as well. Um, so this I was tracking, hold on, I'm gonna do a little housekeeping while I'm actually doing this today. This is where I kind of kept track of, I kept track of my cycle, paydays, and then like work holidays. So it's just kind of an overview. And then in here, um, I decided to, I had a bunch of house projects I wanted to get done. Um, basically, I haven't done everything, but clearly it's not the end of the year yet. So I did all of my lighting fixtures. I actually did that. Um, all the painting I still need to do. So that's kind of like my next project, if you will. And then, let's see, January. I hadn't really been using my monthlies at all. I don't know, it just wasn't like my thing this year. Here is the first week and yeah, did all, did all the things. And then this was my birthday week and I had a horrible migraine the day after my birthday, even though I didn't do really anything on my birthday at all. So yeah, oh, oh well, whatever. And then this, um, kit that I use, well it's not like a kit, but like the little Steves and stuff I used. Um, that is from the Chrissy Ann Designs Celebration Collection binder. Um, her link is down below if you guys want to check it out. And then this is from Chrissy Ann Designs. This long thing is from Chrissy Ann Designs. I love her stuff. Um, all right, and then this is Doyle's birthday week. And he is 12 years old. So right now he's 12 and a half. And on his birthday, something, not so fun happened, my furnace broke. So <laughs> I have a little well shit here. Um, I had the service people come over. There was a guy named Nathan at 11 and then a guy named Bill at 12. And then uh, my mom had called me during this time and I couldn't talk so I called her and told her what was going on. She's like, oh my God. So anyway, so I bought myself a new furnace, which was great. Um, and then the next week they installed it on Tuesday, so I worked from home on Tuesday. But um, yeah, that was no bueno. And that is why I have an emergency fund, y'all. And uh, yeah, it still sucked, 
but it didn't suck as much as me financing it. I'll put it that way. Donations out. Yeah, I did a bunch of this past year. I did a ton of purging. I did several like minimalism game videos, kind of like showing you what I was getting rid of and like the way that it works is on day one, you get rid of one item, day two, two items and so on and so forth till the end of the month. I did it in December, January and February. Um, I'm actually thinking about doing it again this summer because I need to clean out my garage like nobody's business. So I think that's gonna happen again. All right, so now we are into February. Again, didn't use this. <laughs> um, all right, and so this day, oh, I remember this, this is horrible. I had to work from home for four days, which totally sucked because um, yeah, the weather was just absolutely nasty and yeah, no, no fun, no fun here. All right, and we did more work from homes here and then this was also a snow day, but I did work from home and then I had a three and a half hour drive on the way home that sucked so bad <laughs> so bad and then oh i was supposed to get together with jody and ryan that day and it snowed again so we canceled that and then just you know redid that um okay so here is a uh, valentine's day week and here's what i did i mean clearly i'm a planner person <laughs> all right and the next day or the not, not, not the next day next the next week um was ooh taxes i did my taxes that was awesome i did a bunch of tax prep here which i hate doing tax prep but i just kind of like get it all done in a day and just be done with it because i keep all my receipts and whatnot so yeah but that uh was that let's see what's happening in march Ooh, not much <laughs> Ooh, look at this. I don't remember doing this. All right, cool. Um, but yeah, so this is all the fun things that happen. As you can see, I get headaches and migraines. If you're new to my channel, that's probably new to you. But if you've been with me for a while, it's not new at all. Oh, and then this is just sticky notes. Sweet. <laughs> so yeah, these are all my little sticky notes of what I did. So much fun. And, oh, more sticky notes. See, these are the things that I don't show you guys on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, more sticky notes. <laughs> wow. See, I don't remember how many weeks I did this, but now now we're gonna really see the truth. The truth is coming out. Ooh, this one I didn't even do sticky notes. I just left it blank. Wow. All right, let's go into April. Not much going on here. All right, and so then the first week of April, lots of good things. All right, and then we've got second week of April, lots of fun things happening. I was doing training. What was I doing training for? Oh, yeah, okay. I remember now. So yeah, and then oh, two more snow days, which totally sucked, but I um, worked from home those days, I think. Maybe I didn't, I don't know, but it was snowy and gross, I'll tell you that. Oh, I got to talk to my brother, which was cool. I had not actually ever talked to him since he's been out of the US. So it was kind of nice to actually, you know, talk to him on the phone. So anyway, all right, next we've got a more floral kind of a week. So that's good. Um, yeah, this is, this is it. This, my life is so kind of boring, you guys. And I know that y'all like to see these things, but I mean, I find it kind of boring because maybe just because I'm living it. That's probably why. Um, all right, and then this week I had a hair appointment at 5.30 and apparently I didn't do anything else. <laughs> just kidding, I did go to work, okay? Ooh, I did put in um, Go Wild on here. That was it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, here's my Go Wild spread. All right, so this is a little aggressive and I totally understand. Um, usually with Go Wild every year, I end up going like a little crazy with the stickerage. Um, and that's because I get a lot of stickers at Go Wild. So if you go to Go Wild, you get a lot of swag and things like that, which is amazing. So thank you to all of the sponsors at Go Wild. Y'all are amazing. But it's kind of like, well, I don't want to save them for next year because some of them are like specifically related to the place we're in. So like there was a bunch of like dice and some slot machines and stuff like that. So it's like, well, I want to use it, you know? <laughs> so anyways, but I, I did a little, I think I did a plan with me on this. I cannot remember, but anyway, I kind of put in the things that we were gonna do and then kind of filled in like a little after that, if that makes sense. So had an amazing time. I highly recommend it. I'm gonna throw out my Go Wild playlist in the corner for y'all. It actually has vlogs 
and information from my first go wild, which was in Austin, Texas, and then this past one was in Las Vegas, and I have right here next year's location, and it's blank, because I don't know yet. Um, as of me filming this video, it's not been announced, and I don't know where it's gonna be, and I'm very excited to find out where it's going to be. Um, but yeah, highly recommend it, it's so much fun, and um, yeah, it's just really cool. All right, and so here is the week after go wild, and I, got like the go wild flu or something. I was sick for like two weeks. I gave myself a day off here because I was like, oh, well, I'm gonna wanna like do laundry and like regroup and whatever. And my mom was in town too, so I wanna hang out with my mom. Went to work, we had our, we had a Taco Tuesday thing at work, um, like a little potluck. And then Wednesday, I was sick all day. Thursday, I was sick all day. I had to drop my mom off at 4 a.m., which totally sucked, because um, she had to fly back to Florida. And um, yeah, it was pretty bad. And then Friday, I slept all day um, here. I, I mean, I still slept all day, but I like jammed on my planner for a little bit, did some laundry, I organized my swag from Go Wild, and then Sunday, I slept all day again. Yeah, and then here, <laughs> I worked this day and everyone at work was like, are you sure you're okay? I'm like, eh, maybe, I don't know. And then I actually worked from home this day for only a couple of hours and then I like emailed my boss and my team and I'm like, I can't do this at all. Um, oh, and an Eric Condren order came in. And then to that day, I also took another sick day because I was just like dead. And then I worked these days as well. Um, and then I slept again on Saturday because I was just so tired. So basically I was sick for like two weeks, which totally sucked, but all right. Ooh, and here's the next day. This is the first time I used, um, not maybe the first time, but the first time in a long time. Oh no, this one was, so I'm sorry. This one was. Um, that I used Simply Gilded Washi, and I am like obsessed with Simply Gilded. Their link is below. I love this, I think this is called Stardust pattern. Um, it's just so pretty, and to be honest, this is gonna be like a shocking revelation. I'm not mad about it when she uses rose gold in these. I know. I shouldn't probably say that on the internet, because now it's like definitely the truth but I don't mind it. This one does not have rose gold, it actually has like a blue fleck and then silver, and then this one has silver and gold, not rose gold, but yeah, I, I don't mind the ones that have the rose gold in them. They're just, they don't bother me as much, which is weird, probably just because I love the pattern, I don't know. So anyway, here's a very pretty week. I love this week. Um, I don't know what, I think it's because of the washi, like I just really love that. Um, so anyways, I had a coworker on vacation and then, um, you know, my, my things and I had a bunch of videos I was doing, you know, good times. It was my mom's birthday. She turned 70. Happy birthday, mom. <laughs> All right. And then we have our last month to talk about, which is June. Clearly didn't do anything here. Um, so anyway, we have the end of May. So we have Memorial Day. So this is my day off and then had just, you know, the regular week and all that good stuff. I had a reunion meeting, so that was good. Um, my friend, my friend uh, Amanda had her baby shower this day, so that was really fun, and this was the start of Vloon. If you guys haven't watched my vlogging series, Vloon, I will put it up in a card for y'all. So anyway, did all of that, and then, yeah, okay, here's the next week. A nice pastel -y kind of a week, and I never really finished out this week, but whatever. And here is a week that I didn't actually do anything. I got it set up, but I never finished it at all. So yeah. <laughs> and this was a kit. Uh, the majority of these stickers are from a kit from the Simply Gilded subscription box. So yeah, and then they this washi was in the subscription box as well, which I love because it's beautiful. Um, but I never like finished out this week at all. <laughs> All right, and here is Pride Week. This weekend was Pride Weekend in Minnesota, so I decided this would be the Pride Week. Um, so yeah, so I have lots of different rainbow things and just lots of different things happening here. Nothing that exciting. Um, I did have my electrician come in this day and finish out the rest of the stuff in my home, so that was good. And then, yeah, I don't know. I had an oil change. I don't know, just, just adulting over here. Oh, and this was a week, I haven't even shared this week yet. 
Um, this was a week that I used all wonton in a million stickers and washi from Michaels. So yeah, it's kind of fun. So even though I have some wonton in a million stuff, um, I wanted to use all the stuff that I had purchased from Michaels. Or did I? No, I didn't. Okay, sorry, my brain is like not functioning properly. I was like, how did I do a giveaway with this? Ah, it was in my like sticker haul that I had shared on the internet. So anyway, but yeah, this was, this was it, yay. Um, all right, and then I'm into July and nothing in this planner. So the end of the planner, I don't think I did anything back here, to be honest. So, oh, I did this and I've only done one. <laughs> I'm the worst. I am the worst. Okay. Oh, I did this, but I never really, well, I did kind of keep up with it a little bit. Oh, well. Oh, well. And then books I've read. I didn't really do very many of those. And then stickers, which I'm actually going to pull out right now because I don't really, like either when I'm using the planner, like setting it up, I'll use these, but man, I, I don't remember they're in there. So I am going to give these to my local planner group because someone will want them, I'm sure. All right, I'm taking this bad boy out. And that's it for this planner. That's over, ha 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 ha. All right, let me show you guys a little sneak peek of my week this week. So. You ready? Dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 da. This is my current planner, and I'm actually filming right now. That's that's this right here. I have to go uh, visit my grandma today, and then I'm gonna do some meal prep this evening. But yeah, this is my um, week so far, and I have the colorful navy binder, is what I end up going with in the hourly, of course. And yeah. This is it. So I think what I'm gonna try to do, since I like kind of planning when I get home, is maybe show you guys like a month at a time and just kind of go over it. I don't know. Maybe that'd be something you like. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you would like something like that. I mean, I know I'm not doing it live with you guys, but I know y'all still like to see these things. So let me know. I'm gonna move this bad boy out of the way. All right, so that's gonna be it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at half of my year in the Erin Condren Life Planner for 2019. If y'all have any questions, feel free to put them down below. There is also a few Erin Condren links down below as well, as some of you already know. And the majority of the sticker shops that I use and love all the time are down below um, in the description box as well. So feel free to check out those shops if you like some of the stickers that I used. So anyway, that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. In the comments, let me know what you're planning on using for your planner in 2019, 2020, or what you're currently in. I would love to know. It doesn't have to be an Erin Condren, that's okay. <laughs> so yeah, let me know in the comments. So all right, I'm gonna jet. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school.